Hey guys, just want to do a little review with you about total knee arthroplasty or knee replacements. So if you look in your book, you'll see it's divided up a little bit differently than what we've talked about before with the hip. Um, just timeline. So we're going to have the acute phase and that's going to be the first few days to uh, up to two weeks. So the acute phase, we're going to say that this is the knee that um, this lovely patient had operated on. So from day one to two weeks. So you can imagine we've got an incision right here. It's swollen. There's a bandage over it. Um, she really doesn't want to move it. Okay, now she's probably going home either today, because sometimes they do this in outpatient now, which is really scary, um, or she might get to stay in the hospital two or three days. So you've got a lot of stuff to cover and a lot of stuff to give her to do home exercises. And then she's gonna go to either home health or outpatient. And if she starts outpatient, she actually may wait a week or so and then go to outpatient. So you're gonna give her lots of homework. So my lovely patient, I am gonna teach her how to do quad sets. So can you tighten up this muscle as hard as you can? Perfect. And relax. Good, I want you to do that again. And hold it for 10 seconds. Count to 10. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, 10. Okay, if she was having trouble, we might have her do this leg at the same time, her good leg, so she could remember what it feels like. So if you were having trouble with this one, I want you to tighten up this leg at the same time you try to do that one. Okay, tighten up. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes the good leg will kind of key in the operative leg. Okay, um, I'm gonna have her do glute sets. So I tell my patient to squeeze her bottom together and she'd do that one set of 10. I'm definitely gonna have her do ankle pumps. Can you bring your ankle back as far as you can and go down as hard as you can? Okay, and I want you to do that every hour 10 times. Okay. Right now? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do, do 10 for me. Wee, it's so much fun. Okay. And I would explain to my patient how that's going to keep her circulation going and help prevent her DVTs. Okay. Now, she is not going to want to bend this leg and she is not going to want to straighten it. So usually what you will have the patient do, patient, I'm going to help you lift your leg up. Okay. And we're going to put this under her ankle. And we're going to let gravity try to straighten it out. And I'm going to ask her to do that for a total of an hour or two a day. Most patients can't handle it all at once. They'll do like 15 minutes at a time, four to eight times a day. Okay. So you think you can handle that patient? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm also going to help her start to move this leg. So if you want to lay down because you would be laying down in the bed, I'm going to stay on this side of the bed so I don't block the camera. Um, so I'll have bad body mechanics here. So patient, just keep your leg relaxed and I'm going to help her start to move it. Okay. And she probably wouldn't move it that far. Um, but this is what I might help her do. And again, we're shaking up the orange juice. We're moving that synovial fluid around. We are preventing adhesions. Uh, we're trying to keep the joint nice and healthy. Um, I can certainly have her start to help me when she can. I'm not gonna hold long stretches right now because we've got the healing tissue, okay? Um, patient, we're gonna get out of bed. Hang on, I'm gonna help you move your leg. Okay, so I've got this one and you can move this one around. Good. Okay, and let's lower it slowly because again, it's gonna stay right there. Okay, she might only be able to do this much and she might say, ow, okay? <laughs> So I would lower the bed to help her get her feet on the ground. But you're gonna, your patient's gonna need a lot of help here. If she was uncemented, she would have a decreased weight bearing status, either non weight bearing or toe touch. Um, hopefully by week three, she'd be partial weight bearing. If she was cemented, she could uh, weight bear as tolerated right now. But usually day one, they don't tolerate full weight bearing. So she would have crutches or a walker and we would teach her how to use that, we would get her up. She would be walking day one. And before she left the hospital, we would teach her how to do stairs because stairs are part of life. Okay. okay? Um, that's basically your, your acute phase, um, teaching her to ice it and elevate and keep the swelling down.